Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Police Quest in Pursuit of the Death Angel. We've managed to lock up the intoxicated driver. You can see him in that right hand cell there. Um, yeah, last time out went okay. We managed to figure out how to do the handcuffing properly and everything like that. And it looks as though a promotion might possibly be on the cards for Sonny. I have however been told by Hot Lava Tube that apparently I did something wrong. There's you know, I don't know what it is, but apparently we're going to find out shortly. So, um, yeah, I guess we just continue on and see exactly what that was. I have no idea. I left the gun in the locker, so I thought that was all fine. Um, okay. Oh, no, I left my door open. <laughs> right. So the car's gone. Um, <laughs> did someone steal the car? Guessing someone stole the car. Brilliant. Uh, okay. <laughs> Back here then. Right, so. Uh, I think, have we put the, the gun into the locker at this point? I, th I think we have. I don't see the gun there. Right, so. Yeah, look, I've left the doors open. So do we just close the doors? Or do we have to, like, lock the doors? Can we, can we like, lock car? How can you do that? Lock door? You're not close enough. Lock door. Okay, I, do, I don't know whether we have to lock the door or not. Um, so, we'll, we'll see. Uh, let's save back over jail then, and call it jail 2. And then, uh, do, can we look in the locker? Look locker. Uh, I, th I think we put... I, d I don't think the locker would be open if we hadn't put the, the gun in there, so let's push the button again. Okay, in we go. Yeah, apparently also if you talk to this guy in the cell already, then that can be a, a death, so we're going to avoid doing that. Uh, okay, we're not going to read this again because we saw it before. Um, is it, Do we just say intoxicated driver? Uh, yep, yeah, okay. And then, okay, remove the cuffs and place them behind door number one. Fine. Um, remove cuffs. And then off we go. Go on then, into the cell you go. If you throw us up on the floor, yeah, yeah, okay. So we put him in here, then, uh, is it is it Laura? Or Lauren? Some, something like that shows up and then says, hey, there's a promotion to narcotics available. Laura, that's it. Um, right, so let's just read this again. We'll be filled by a veteran street cop, which could be us. If you're interested, submit a memo as soon as possible. So we need to submit a memo. Okay, fine. Uh, the jailer yells at you, come over here. Uh, okay, he wants you back at the office on the double. Okay, fine. The car's still here, good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's call it uh, back to the office, I guess back to the office right <laughs> crisis averted let's not forget to to get our gun back uh get gun remove and holster your weapon close the locker okay right let's just save over that again because we've got our gun back right uh so back to the police station we're gonna go now what is that oh it's a security camera on the side of the building uh open door Get in, close door, and drive. Right. Oh, good. Okay, we're still on uh, a high speed here. So let's drop the speed to normal. Uh, okay, we need to figure out how to get to the police station from here. Oh, it's right there. Okay, it's literally just north one block, which is fine. So we'll head back. Uh, do we have to park the car i'm hoping we don't we can use the diagonal keys now that i know that's a thing uh all right so let's stop here uh and we will save <laughs> we'll save over a different slot just in case uh car park can we do get out oh we can nice okay so the game isn't so unforgiving that it makes you you park constantly uh, closed. Hopefully there's not a procedure where you have to do a certain thing when you get back. But we'll see. So we're looking to, to fill out a memo by the sounds of things. So 
The PR24 must remain in the vehicle. What's the PR24? Is that the nightstick? We got the nightstick from the, the vehicle, right? Uh, get in. PR24. Uh, radio extender, I don't think it's that. Ammunition notebook, ticket book. Yeah, I think it's probably the nightstick. Uh, put away nightstick. Why do that? Put stick, nightstick. Okay, so the nightstick has gone back. Okay, so get out. Close door. I wonder if you could do like G-O for get out and things like that. I'm really intrigued by these shortcuts that I had no idea were a thing. Yeah, it was the nightstick. Okay, so wasn't this the memo table here? Look, look around. Uh, it's a table against the wall. Uh, narcotics. Uh, look at the table. The table is a basket marked in. This is where you submit your reports and memos. It's a pad of blank memos. Uh, get, get memo. They must, okay, write memo. You write out a request for transfer to the narcotics division. Uh, okay, do we, do we have that with us? Pick up memo. Okay, so it looks like we just leave it there. Look, memo. Looks good enough to, okay, do we have to actually submit the memo? Yeah, you do. <laughs> you place your basket, you place your request into the in basket. Okay, cool. So we've, we've applied. Okay, we've applied for narcotics. Applied. Uh, right, so Dooley wanted to see us, right? So if I remember right, Dooley's office was this... Oh, God, there's loads. If that gremlin keeps messing with me, says Sergeant Dooley, I'm going to notify Internal Affairs to start an investigation. When I find out who the little weasel is, says Sergeant Dooley, you'd better believe that he or she will be walking a footbeat from the river all the way to Joe's junkyard. Uh, okay, why? What, what's what's happened? Look around. Okay. Uh, look, Dooley. You see that? Okay, talk to Dooley. Dooley ain't fit to talk right now. Okay, is he going to go to the... What, why is everyone... Russ, the keeper of evidence lockup, says, Howdy, Sonny. Haven't seen anything with your name on it come in lately. Uh, okay. Is, ev is everyone following me? That they all... Take a look in my office, Sonny. Maybe we you can shed some light on how that creature made his way to the top of my desk. Okay. Right, so... Right, so it looks like everyone's coming with us because of... Because of this. Open door. Oh my god. You can hardly believe your eyes. A full-grown chicken with its legs tied together is flapping about and clucking raucously right on Sergeant Dooley's desk. Feathers fly everywhere, but that's not the worst, unfortunately. The chicken has lost control of her bodily functions. The mysterious gremlin has struck Sergeant Dooley again. Sonny, if I find out you are th that inconsiderate worthless gremlin, I'll hang you out to dry. Is that the Astro Chicken music? I think it is, isn't it? Are you sizing up my office or what? Look at the chicken. You think to yourself, this is one excited chicken, as you watch it flop, squirt and cluck around on Dooley's desk. You bite your lip to keep from laughing. Nah, you don't want to do that. Who dirty their clean uniform by picking up a chicken that just relieved herself all over Sergeant Dooley's desk? Okay. I mean, do we have to... I swear if I catch that gremlin, whoever he is, I'm going to make hamburger out of him. Alright, well, have fun with that, Dooley. Hey, Sonny, you're off duty, aren't you? Some of us are going to buy the blue room to throw Jack a little surprise party. After you change clothes, why don't you stop by? The dancer we hired for Jack's party is something else. <laughs> I can see where this is going. <laughs> right, so I guess we're going to have to shower and change into normal clothes. Uh, but, you know, if, if the last shower attempt was... Is that guy still in the toilet cubicle? <laughs> I think he is. Right, open the locker. Uh, locker is too far away. Oh, yeah, which one was ours? 
Uh, yeah, fair enough game. Open locker. There's a K in there somewhere. Right. Um, put a uh, gun. You remove the ammunition from your revolver, place it on the shelf, and then hang your gun belt to the locker door. Uh, what else do we have? Notebook, ticket book, extender, briefcase. Oh, yeah, put the briefcase back. Fine. I'm guessing we just put, like, everything away. Uh, get towel. Crochet shower before changing okay oh right okay fine that's what we're going to do though close locker fine uh this time we are gonna turn on the shower ah it's nothing like a nice hot shower right this time we're going to have our shower uh do we have to actually like shower the shower is on uh like clean body how can you get I'm really paranoid that you have to be really specific about what you're doing with the shower. Right, turn off shower. Fine, we're clean, hopefully. Back to the locker. Open locker. Uh right, so we're going out, right? So put on clothes or wear clothes. Okay. Are they our normal clothes? Let's look in the locker. Personal gear, weapon and gun belt, ammunition, briefcase. Keys to your Corvette are hanging on a hook. Towel. PD uniform. Old t-shirt and a pair of jeans. Okay, so which which clothes of clothes have we got then? Let's let's grab the key. To your vet. Nice. Closed door. Oh yeah, yeah. That that seems like a nice outfit to wear for um for a night out, right? Surely, surely that's got to be the right clothes. Um, looking very slightly leisure suit, Larry, with the uh with the trousers. So <laughs> let's head out. Okay, so we're, so we're off duty now. So where was it? They said the blue room. I don't even know where that is. So we're gonna have to try and find that. Anyway. So the Corvette is ours, apparently. You better return that radio extender. It makes an unsightly bulge in your trousers. Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll return the, the radio extender. All in all, I don't want to jinx it, because uh, I may well have um, missed something. Put the extender back. Return your radio extender to the recharge stand. All right, let's check our... So we've got the patrol... Oh, we, do we don't need the patrol car keys. So let's put those back. Uh, put keys. You hang the keys on the keyboard. All right, so we should be good now, right? I don't think we've got any other police property on us. Let's just save over showered. Um, we'll head out, get into our Corvette, which I'm guessing is this bottom car. We don't have to do like an inspection or anything, do we? Uh, open door. Yeah, get in. Closed door. Now, I wonder if there's like any sort of um, drive, like different driving mechanics in this game. So like whether this car will drive differently. I'm going to say no because it's, uh, you know, such an early uh, game. No, so it, it drives exactly the same as a police car. I wondered if it would like steer funny or anything like that. Right, blue room. Where the hell is the blue room? <laughs> Because the map, like I said, the map I've got from the game manual is good. It shows the whole map, but it doesn't actually have locations detailed on it. So I think we're probably just going to have to look for somewhere we can pull in. Uh, it's probably not going to be here, is it? I guess not. Those people are still in the swimming pool. They've been in there all day. But then I suppose if you're like, these these houses look fancy, right? So they look like super rich people houses. Uh, right, look around. The blue room is in this part of town. Okay, so it must be that bit there with the, the little bit of road going in. So that seems to be the key to where you can pull in and where you can't pull in on this game. If there's like a little indentation in front of a building, I'm guessing it signifies you can pull in there. Come on, lights, change please. But yeah, I was saying this has been a pretty productive episode as long as I've not missed anything crazy. 
uh, student. Oh no! <laughs> I was going to do nine to do diagonal. I was going to do nine to do diagonal. Okay, fine. I was literally saying how good this episode is. I should keep my mouth shut in future, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys. We'll leave it there for this one. We'll go to the blue room in the next one. I'll cut out the driving to get there, I think, between episodes. Uh, but, yeah. Other than that sour ending, a pretty good episode. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Fans and Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, and Coomadin. And I'll see you next time.